so using a GIF is often the better choice. GIFs are limited in the amount of colours they can use, from just 2 all the way up to 256. Less colours means a smaller file size. But even 256 colours isn't that many if your designs have gradients, because every different shade of colour will be a different colour in the palette. If you design using your strict colour palette to begin with, then you'll be able to export your GIF with fewer colours while still looking good. You also need to be careful with how you use these colours too. The other main contributor to good GIF compression is the amount of movement in your scene. A good way to think of this is how often are each of the pixels in your GIF changing colour. If you have a scene with a background that's mostly one colour for the whole loop, then the GIF will compress very well, because most of the pixels never change colour. If you have a fully scrolling background, even just with a simple pattern, then most of your pixels are changing colour every single frame. So your GIF file size would be almost three times as big, even with the same amount of colours. This could mean your file size is too big for where you want to upload it to. Instead, when adding scrolling background details like trees, try to make sure there are still large areas that don't change colour very often. Then your file size won't increase too much. This is also something that's important to consider for videos too, as fast moving detailed patterns often result in blurry video compression. Try to keep things simple. If you can tell the same story with less detail, then that's usually a good compromise for having a better looking loop.